In order to access your DVR remotely, you would need to download the XMI app, which is available through Google Play and Apple Store. After you successfully download the XMI app, we're going to go ahead and click on it. And at the bottom left-hand corner, you should have an option that says Local Login. So we're going to go ahead and click on that. And then next, it will bring you to a window that contains the device list, which allows you to add standalone DVRs for you, uh, for you to review remotely. So what we're going to do is click on the plus sign. In this next window, here is where we add the device. So we're going to go ahead and name this device Demo1. The default factory username will be admin, and the default factory password will be 123456. For the last box, you have two options. One, you can enter your IP address, which is provided by your internet service provider, and you will have to forward the ports, which are located in this video. The web port is 80, media port is 34567, and mobile port is 34599. And in the second option, you can use P2P cloud technology, which allows you to connect to the DVR without entering the IP address or doing any port forwarding. Now, this may cause some kind of slight delay when trying to load the cameras over the Internet, but that's not just with our DVR. That's with all DVRs in general. In order to use the P2P cloud technology, you would need to click on the QR barcode. And once you click on that, you will need access to your monitor, mouse, and DVR. Once you have access to that, you will right click anywhere on the screen and you will click on the icon that looks like a person. And in the next window, you will click on next. And you would do the same thing for the next window. Then you will click on skip. And then in the next window, you will click on next. And lastly, in the next window, you will have the, your standalone DVR's QR barcode in which you can scan with your iPhone or your Android phone after pressing the QR function button. Now this is just me using my iPhone to scan the QR barcode with my cell phone. And just like that, the serial number will pop up in the last option box. And then next I wanna click OK. And there you have, you have just added your standalone DVR to your device list. Next we're gonna view one of the cameras at that particular location. So we're gonna click on demo one, and then we're gonna click on one of the cameras. Now that you can see from this camera, we're going to go ahead and change it to a four channel view. So simply just click on the number four. And to put it in full screen mode, you want to click on the top right icon. Or you could just turn your phone horizontally and then it'll automatically go to into full screen mode. And there you have it. You have just viewed your cameras remotely through the XMI app. And thank you for choosing iLink Professionals as your service provider.